Hello everyone, my name is Maurice Mason. I'm Caledonia's Vice President of Corporate Development. I'm going to be showing you our mine geological model today using a product called Verify, which is a partner company of ours that we use their services. They provide 3D geological modeling software, which gives investors a view of what the mine looks like underground. So we're not uh, limited to two dimensional PowerPoint presentations. So I hope you find this presentation useful. Um, I would encourage you to have a look on the website at verify.com, V-R-I-F-Y.com. You can find our company project there, and there is also an app on the iPad. I would... But what you're looking at here is a map of Zimbabwe. Uh, you can see there the Great Dyke that extends through the country. It's a fairly major geological feature. And the Greenstone Belt that runs from the southwest to the northeast of the country. So Harare is up towards the top right-hand side of your picture. This is an oblique aerial view coming in. On, on, on the, from, from the southern section of the country. We're down towards the south of the property in the Gwanda Greenstone Belt, so I'll be zooming in there shortly. So um, if you see the... Now we're looking at, at the Gwanda Greenstone Belt. Uh, you can still see the Great Dark up towards the top right-hand side of your picture. The Blanket Mine site, as it's labeled there, is towards the uh, west end of, the, of the, the Gwanda Greenstone Belt, which is the southernmost greenstone trend in the country. Just this greenstone trend that you're looking at uh, that extends up to the northeast of the country is the size of Burkina Faso. So this is a major uh, gold prospecting area and we're, we're quite excited to show you the opportunities here. This gives you a clearer picture of the mine site. You can see the dam where we extract water uh, to run the operations. You can see the major feed roads out to the town of Gwanda the, the closest town to our operation and if we zoom into the 3d model now and you can get a clearer picture the first thing I'd like to do before we go underground is just show you the view from the satellite you can see our neighboring property towards the right uh, that's approximately three kilometers away from us so they're mining also at similar depths to us actually slightly, slightly deeper than we are and uh, you can see a few a few features obviously I would highlight. You can see the, the tailings dam to the left. So that's our, our tailings operation at the mine village uh, around here. And uh, there's Jethro shaft, which is the shaft where most of our uh, men go up and down. There's four shaft uh, in the center uh, and close to the plant, which is our main processing uh, facility. And four shaft is where the rock is hauled. Uh, you can see the Eroica and Lima ore bodies, so Eroica, Lima. Uh, that's to the northern section of the property. So what you're looking at now is uh, north-south is left-right as the on the screen as you're viewing it. And then a uh, very importantly, Central Shaft, which is the main investment project we've been busy with for, for several years now. So going now underground, you can see now a 3D underground view of the property. And this picture probably looks familiar to some investors who've, who've seen it before in our, in our PowerPoint investor presentations. You can see we exploit a series of, of vertical ore bodies that, as, as they run from, uh, from north to south. So there's, there's Eroica, there's Lima, there's AR Main, there's AR South, and then there's the blanket ore body. So what we see here from these um, features is, is at the extensions of the ore bodies as the geologists have modeled them. So we can see as I'll, I'll zoom into this this page, we can see the, the, the extensions as these ore bodies uh, continue deeper. Obviously, we still need to do a lot of additional work as we um, as we go uh, underground, and, and, and central shaft will, will enable enable a great deal of that. First thing to give you an idea for is the, the vertical dip of these ore bodies. So essentially, that and they're dipping at between 70 to 80 degrees, so fairly, fairly, fairly steeply dipping all body. Uh, it means you have to keep going deeper. It also helps uh, from a development point of view, it means the development's not, not too onerous, uh, but, but, but we do have to keep extending deeper. And it gives you a sense of scale there, the shaft is, uh, that, 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 that depth we're looking at is approximately 1.2 kilometers. I'm going to now turn off the view of the ore bodies as they extend. And now what you're looking at is our known resources below the 750 meter level. Uh, indicated, uh, measured and indicated, uh, in, and then inferred uh, towards the deeper end here. So, so from a, uh, the, the M&R resources here, and then additional inferred resources at depth. 
we can see uh, clearly there's, there's plenty of resource at depth. And we can see also here, if I, if I pull around now into the footwall of the mine, which gives you a lovely view of the development work that's been done, there's central shaft. And we are in the processes of commissioning and wrapping up the shaft, but you can see central shaft in the, the access that it gives us to greater depth. So previously, our entire mine infrastructure was constrained at this 22 level, which is the 750 meter level. So this level I'm showing you now, we didn't have any deeper access to the ore body anywhere below that. And so Central Shaft has been a project we've been, we've been busy with for, for the better part of six years. We've sunk uh, uh, almost $100 million, uh, including uh, including plant expansion and, and additional capital into this, into this project. So it's been a very substantial investment for our business. And you can see as it, uh, you can see how much of it, it opens up the ore body at depth. So all of the, the access we have here, um, we've got three additional haulage levels. The first one is already in place. You can see we've already finished that. That takes us into the blanket ore body. And then we've got two additional development stations there, which obviously we'll continue developing those out uh, as, uh, as, we, as we progress with the mine. And that, that's going to open up access to these ore bodies at depth. Um, now to come back around into the hanging wall to give you a sense of some of the, the ore bodies we're exploiting. I'm going to go under now and you'll be coming up from underneath. So that's our main, that's our south. You can see these are quite a large scale ore bodies. There's, there's, these are 20, 30 meters wide, just give you a sense of, 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 of the scale of the ore bodies we're mining. So they're large massive uh, underground uh, mining we get to long haul uh, these deposits and now i'm almost directly underground quite quite close and i hope you haven't lost a sense of perspective to now zoom out a little and give you a sense of the blanket ore body uh, 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 an ordinary long section doesn't really give blank do blanket justice blanket is a series of parallel structures which we're mining in parallel which is where the bulk of our uh, inferred resources sit at black, as you can see the inferred lighter color. But these these are a whole series of parallel and intersecting ore bodies, which obviously is, um, and we have some good mining engineers and geologists who, uh, who, who understand how to get these out. But you see they're much narrower, tend to be higher grade, and there's a lot more of them. So it doesn't necessarily always do it justice when you're looking at this from uh, from, from a simple long section. But I hope that gives you a sense of uh, the, 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 the potential of the property, uh, the type of mining we're undertaking, and the uh, and the plans for the future. And you can see how much central shaft frees up capacity. A point to note also on the exploration drilling, as you can see these extra drill cubbies that we've drilled out over here. So that is drilling access Anything that, that comes out vertically out of the side of the ore body, there's no gold there, but we need to be able to drill out horizontally in order to put a drill at these stations here in order to then drill into the ore body at this angle to drill and to understand where these ore, what these ore bodies look like at depth. We've been quite severely constrained in terms of our development tonnage with foreshaft. So until central shaft is, is fully in operation, we haven't had the ability to do as much development as we would have liked uh, to, to, to drill out this ore body, but we have full confidence that, these mine, this, that, that the mine keeps going at depth. Uh, this mine's over 100 years old and it's never had a 100-year mine life. So the, the only reason we have uh, the inferred resources stopping at the depth we're at is because we haven't had the ability to do the requisite level of of, of drilling and more importantly the development work for the drilling in these horizontal drill cubbies. So another useful view just to show people before we close this off is just a, a sense of the infrastructure development that we've done in this mine. So this is a this is the culmination of, of all of the investment and historical working in this mine but it gives you really a, a sense of the type of network and infrastructure that shareholders capital has has put in place here and gives us the, the ability to access these ore bodies and to mine them to extract the gold. So that really is a, I think, a very impressive view 
of the, the, the underground infrastructure that's been built and, and, and where the capital has been going over, over all these years. When you stand on surface, you don't always get a, a, a clear sense of, 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 of what appears below your feet. So I hope that's been useful. I'll come back in and give investors a, a final zoom out. That's the mine. That's what we're working on for the future, and we're very excited to extract many years of additional life from these resources at death. So thank you for your attention. I hope that's been useful, and uh, hopefully we'll bring you more of these in the future.